So last Tuesday, the Supreme Court declined a case about fetal personhood because, you know, fetuses aren't people. And admitting that really undercuts their whole argument against reproductive rights, declaring a fetus a person who deserves constitutional protection, which is exactly what this case wanted to do, would wreak havoc not just on abortion rights, but on in vitro fertilization, child support laws, contraception access, all kinds of shit. Havoc is, after all, the inevitable result when you declare a thing to be a thing that it isn't in a binding way, a legally binding way. Of course, the fact that it would be untenable, illogical, and damaging isn't necessarily enough to keep this court from doing it, right? I mean, it didn't stop a far less ideological court in the Trinity Lutheran decision, so why the fuck would it stop these holy crusaders? It might just be that they're waiting for a case with more favorable facts or that they don't want to you know, put this shit in the headlines right before the midterms. One way or the other, though, the nonsensical idea that a fetus from the moment of fucking conception is a full-fledged human being with rights and protections under law is the next goal for the anti-abortion warriors, and it's something that this court is going to have to reckon with in light of the Dobbs decision. And that got me to think of the other day, like, how the fuck can religious people claim that they believe that fetuses are people when they're not even willing to go that far when it comes to children? They, they, they claim to think that fetuses are people but then they treat children as property. They, they think they have an exclusive right to decide how their kid gets educated. That is, whether they learn real stuff or made up bullshit. Or in extreme cases like Amish communities, they get to decide that their children don't get educated at all. Right? They, they, they get to decide how their kids get treated medically. And they think this is a divine and inalienable fucking right. They get to withhold vaccinations from them, not because of the religious objection of, of the child themselves, of course, because how the fuck would a kid know enough about vaccinations or religion to have an informed opinion on the intersection of those two things? No, it's based on the objections of the parents who, though their opinions are clearly no more informed than their fucking kids, hold it religiously and therefore it matters. And that's a list that could just go on and on forever, right? When a new potential law comes along seeking to expand the minimum rights of children, you can bet your ass that the strongest opposition to that law will be coming from religious groups, right? That is assuming that the law is trying to protect them from actual harm. If you're trying to protect them from demonic rock music or knowing how sex works, religions will be all there for you, right? But if you're trying to protect them from abuse, you can bet your ass that the chief opposition is quoting Proverbs 13.24 on the relationship between rod sparing and child spoiling. And this goes for psychological abuse as well as physical abuse. Religion is, after all, the last sanctuary of the so-called conversion therapy bullshit. Hell, it's gotten to the point where their fucking religious homophobia has them coming out against anti-bullying campaigns. They treat children as property. They think of children as property. It's right there in their favorite summary of their faith, right? John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth him shall not perish but have everlasting life. What the fuck does it mean to give your son? How the fuck is your kid a thing that you can give? If Jesus wasn't God's property, but rather an autonomous individual, that doesn't even make sense. Sacrificing your son is an act of cowardice, not kindness. Now, now, they try to rescue this shit with their belabored Trinity bullshit. God is Jesus, after all. But even then, they don't save the quote. They don't summarize their faith by saying that God loved the world so much that he gave himself. They say he loved it so much that he gave his son. Because to them, that actually is a sacrifice. A child is a piece of property that one can give. And how could you honestly think you had some right to deprive a person of education or medicine if you didn't believe that? So yeah, religious people, shut the fuck up about fetal parenthood until you're at least willing to grant that to all the entities that we can all agree are people. And then keep shutting the fuck up because all the other stuff you say is harmful bullshit too.